Yeah, you're right. Just, uh, we should have... Just um, do that. And then you're good. Yeah. So, Nangs. Fresh off of losing in winners uh, with his Falcon against uh, Catherine. Mm -hmm. Milo. And it's up against Milo. The return. The epic return. Milo's looking a lot happier. He wasn't that happy in that. He wasn't that... Uh, he was... He was um. Honestly, overall, he's definitely, like... His mood has improved since... Oh, it's, it's night and day. It's so good. It's really good to see. It's um, actually a night and day difference now. Yeah. Like, it's good to see Milo back here. We all missed him. Yeah, definitely. Um, whether he plays Falco, whether he plays Pop, you know. Yeah, no, I just want to see him here. Exactly. Um, didn't have the greatest showing against me, but he was also... It's rusty, honestly. It's going to take him. I feel like it's definitely going to take a few tournaments for him to, like... Get back to where he was. Yeah, Plus, everyone agree. else has improved. Hard agree. I think it, I think the scene has changed a little bit in his absence, uh, but at the same time, not much has changed. Like it's. I think it's uh, our movers and shakers haven't really changed much, but the scene is probably a bit more healthier now. I and, know. I agree. You know, you got a bit more pop fighter for for the boys. Yeah, for the in boys, winners, the boys. Winners, the boys. in winners semis and losers uh, quarters right now. Mm. So like, cause these these are the matches that are really worth the marbles. Yeah, these, like, these, are, these are some. Yeah, you're good. And we're going to Battlefield for the first game. And oh man, it's been a while. <laughs> it's been a it's while. Been, <laughs> it's, it's too and it's to going to be a while. Oh yeah, if they, especially if they have like a close set, we could be here for 25. Yep. Strap yourself in, gamers. Yep. We got a Slobberdocker ahead of us. Lang's not playing Falcon. Not playing Falcon. Um, and Milo not playing Falco. <laughs> Both good choices. <laughs> no. But I think I think Milo's Falco can't will like. I get think Milo's there, Falco is alright. It could it could do, do some damage, but currently looking not too bad for Nangs. He was uh, starting off a little weaker, but oh, he's got. Oh, you got, yeah. He's got, yeah, he's got all the time in the world to take the stuff, really. Mm. Floaty Ditto, you get, you have ages to oh. adapt. Oh. I like that. It's really going to come down to Milo being able to, like, move around these projectiles and really test how, you know, how his reactions are, how his reflexes are reacting to him. Because mm -hmm. that's something that can kind of lose the knack for is just being able to move around things in your way in this game. Definitely, and like, as far as like... What? He's weak on the shield. Oh, yeah. really sick turnaround back here, actually. Very bad the eye, though. I'm oh, pretty yeah. sure he oh, did, yeah. yeah. Um, gave that up for free. But yeah, it's like, you just have to, against like a floating against Samus, you have to just realize not to, um, you have to diversify your approaches. You can't just run in with like, you know, a back air, like just. So Nang's early up being there and losing stock for it. He's worried about getting hit, but if you just uh, up beat from lower, you just would have clipped uh, Miley's path. But it's, you live and you learn. One down throw should. Oh, yeah, I like the movement there from Milo. Uh, not a bad call out from Nang's, but. Well, to be honest, Ruben's charge shots are pretty bad. Yeah, they're they're not bad. bad, it's just, uh... I'd say they're bad. I don't think they're bad. I mean, I think, like... He tosses them out. He's a, he's very much... He's very trigger-happy, which... Yeah. To be fair, in a floaty ditto, you have a lot more time to charge. Yeah, but. yeah, especially in this one. Puff isn't going to be in your face most of the time, but Miley's applying a lot of the pressure right now. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't think... Yeah, I don't think Ruben's charge shots are bad, because... Okay. I think it... The only problem with them is that he's kind of just looking for the first option a lot of the time. Sure, and then yeah. Um, so that's why a lot of them just kind of get missed. Oh! So yeah, I, you know. <laughs> I, start, um, I start knocking him and he's yeah. hitting every run now. So. Yeah. He hasn't dropped one since. He hasn't dropped one nah. since. He's, he's showing me. Nah, um, the real shit, though, is just that he'll call out the first option like three times in a row. And so the moment you start feeling safe with like... The moment you start feeling safe and you do the later like decision making, mm -hmm. he just catches it like he did that. He just waited for the yep. get up instead of like uh, hastily throwing it out on the tech crawl. Yeah, that's a, that's the thing. I agree. Like, I think those charge shots are really good because he's like not just kind. Of, like I think Ruben is better when he waits. Yeah, he kind of like when he tosses them out of neutral as like 
a read on. Like a lot of times he'll toss him. At least against like me, he'll toss yeah, him out like, of the. Yeah, you like you get he'll get you to jump or something. Yeah, yeah. And if I just say sit chill, he just flies over. Yeah. And I'm like, well. Yeah, pretty pretty much. Like, I think that's just a uh, how Nengs has decided to use charge shot. Really, it's just like you know you call out a few things with a with a high impact thing a few times, and then when they get a bit too comfy, yep. they get hit by it. Milo's showing that he's not too bad on this edge guard, though. I think one more aerial probably would have done it, but he lets him back. He kind of just gives away that um, edge guard. Yeah, through. it really did. It's got the center, so it's not the worst position for him, but Nangs with a really good call out coming. And I mean, his DI off down throw has been pretty much terrible. It's been terrible for, uh, pretty much the entire game, so one grab and it's probably a stop. Oh, yeah. But Puff has rest. You know, Puff has Puff. that. Have that MF thing on her. That said, Ruben really hasn't done much where this game went um, He hasn't really committed. Oh, that was. I mean, he was at 0%, so he it, but he hasn't really done anything really lagging from the shield. Right. Uh, yeah. He hasn't really down smashed at all. And, like, down smash is actually one of the things where. Um, uh, oh, yep. You're good, you're good. If, um, That's that. That's actually that, though. Yeah, if uh, Puff. If uh, Samus down smashes, then you can. I mean, you can just jump. Like to add a shield rest, or I'm pretty sure you can wave dash out a shield and rest it. Milo Wait. considering swapping for a brief moment there, but I think he's sticking it out. I feel like, yeah. Yeah, he loses quarters. Right? Milo hearing it's best of five, you can see that look of disappointment in his face. He's, uh, he's <laughs> like, I, I just wanna. He's like, ah, crap. Ah, damn. Yeah, because, uh, like, the thing is, like, I'm not a fan of changing up the, the the rules at a series like this. Like Yeah, based on, like, oh, time constraints. Or, yeah, yeah, exactly. Unless it's, like, really, if it's, like... If it's really bad, obviously, yeah. but, like... <laughs> no, I don't um, even... Have to keep the consistency, in my opinion. When there's points on the line, there's, there's no point in... God, I still have to play Ruben and PM. I feel like at that point I'm just gonna be like, yo, dude, you wanna split the invisible bot? Mm. Like, you know, <laughs> yeah. That's probably a bit uh, a bit more polite than saying, hey, hey, you wanna DQ? <laughs> you wanna you wanna DQ from like grands and just That's just forfeiting, just for right? Yeah, it's just, just forfeiting, yeah, right? You wanna just, yeah. you wanna just forfeit, maybe? <laughs> oh no rest! Uh, oh, what a guy. What a guy. guy. This is such a such a great punish attempt. Yeah. Uh, these guys are just like, oh, now we got to play this out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> both of them are probably thinking that. They both wanted to die. They, were, they both wanted to be on free stocks. <laughs> yeah. Miley with the DI this time on the throw. Mm. Doesn't get clipped by the back air. That's big. That's pretty big. <laughs> that's actually a big stock to take. Oh, just spot dodging. Oh, oh, I like that up air, but it's not yeah. going to kill. Samus is so big. She's a chunky girl. She's, um... It's that armor. It's just waves of... Mm -hmm. Goddamn. Like, pretty bad full speed, but... Still, <clears throat> the weight makes up to an extent. She's got the jetpack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she got the jetpack. When she double jumps, she uses it. So she's still kind of cooling off, you know? You know, gives her, what, free frame jump squat, so... Yeah. Uh, I wish Peach had a jetpack. It's, it's worth, it's worth <laughs> right? Yeah. I think it's so good that Samus is a three-frame dog. Oh, I know. Could you imagine if it was like, oh, <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. She just feels so... She would like, be so much more clunky as well, and like, just movement. Just. Oh, God, yeah. Ah. That's weird. That's a like, weird choice, I guess, just because like the um, missile and the charge shot were the exact same height, so it's all like it's on the ground where... If, like, one, if the missile hits and the charge shot's not, I guess... Maybe it could catch out an air dodge, but... Mm, it's kind of hard to tell in this situation. Alright, there oh, we go. Let's get some design yeah. like that. Why not? I mean, there's enough knockback to give you another charge shot. I guess it's because, like, grabs in this matchup uh, come few and far between for Samus, so... Yeah, Puff is just going to crouch under that and, like, mm. just jump. Jump squad under it. And it's very scary. You mess up, like, or you, just, like, you whiff the grab and you just get rested. Uh... Milo's showing that his movement is uh, not quite ready to step to Nangs at the moment, who's been pretty hot lately. 
Yeah, in terms of tournament results. He's been on the rise. So. Oh, that was so <laughs> good, actually. That was actually so good. Hey, and a great touch to finish it off. Unsure how likely it was that Milo went into that, but... Whoa! Okay. So Death. last time with that up air, must have literally just been the stage height. Milo goes up to yeah. the top for that one and cleans it up. He's still so, like... Oh, man. A stock difference in a floaty ditto just... It just... You really feel it. Oh, my God. Look at... Because, like, look. Look how little Milo has to work with. He's all the way in this corner. He's got only one stock. He can't rest. Yes. And here's Nangs with the good normals. I know. Those tilts are actually... Like, tilts and jabs are actually just... Jab crouch is very good. Yeah. Now Nangs is starting to slip and slide. And it's looking pretty over for Milo on this game, unless he pulls something magical out of the bag. Yeah, this is looking cool. I do like that he is playing a lot more reserved, because he isn't getting hit, but just that one call no. out falling down with the nair, and Nangs is going to take it. Right, good job, the ribbon. Bring it. Actually, i got to get something, so I'll be back. Go for it, go for it. Back to sign up. Oh, did I hear you, Falcon? Excuse me? I think Ruben may have just like Ready? courtesy switched. Oh yeah, yeah, we got we got a courtesy switch. We're not really courtesy, but um, I think Nangs is like, you know what? Let's play a matchup that's actually fun to play. And so we've got Falcon Falco on your screens. <laughs> so Nangs' Falcon's actually not too bad, but um, I don't think he has quite like the same kind of uh, tournament results as he does his Samus. Which is, which is very fair. Miley gets caught with a double laser and uh, let's do that. I, also, I don't think Milo's spaces are too bad either. Um, this has a f uh, quite a lot to kind of learn, and uh, like his basics are nice, um, but his tech skill and his decision making can only improve over time. <clears throat> Oh, I like that now, actually. Uh, Milo having a bit of a trouble comboing Falcon, who's usually pretty easy to combo on this stage. Yeah, he's just opting for aerials and down airs. Try and... He hasn't really extended anything past, like, 60 in a combo. Um, so he is just going to be relying on getting a bit more neutral openings. Big spot dodge gets need by Nangs, and you are stuck up. Pretty lazy pressure there from Milo, but it's gonna probably work out for him in the end. Oh no, he doesn't grab the ledge. Nangs is gonna take that. Oh, the pivot! I love that. The knee's gonna come out, but no follow up after. Milo flubbing a little bit close to Nangs. Falcon's just gonna punish you for that. You can't be playing with fire. He read the Tekken place there with that down smash, but didn't find it. Alright, again, no second place from Milo. He's a bit smarter than that. Done it a few times now, so maybe Nang's gotta be looking for something else. Makes it back though. Milo having a hard trouble cleaning that up. He's still in this though. Like, Falcon on FD versus Falco is pretty good for a Falco, in my opinion. I think you have so much freedom to just put out whatever you move you want against this character and just feel great about it, you know? Oh, what a combo starting now. Uh, grabs him from the back. I love that Falcon special. And the grab. Good recovery from Milo, though. Nair's across the stage. Still hasn't found this kill move yet. Now we're starting to get into even percent territory. Good cancel on the gentleman, too. Nang's going up stock. Falcon's looking all right. Definitely looking alright enough to take out Milo's spaces. Oh, just a dash dance. I'm trying to scare him. 
You can see it, Milo is playing a lot further back now. Really abusing this laser. Things his shield's so weak though. So he doesn't need much to get poked. But it's probably gonna be he can't get back from that if Miley holds it. And that's that. We're back to even. Miley's popping out these rolls a bit now. It's kinda working because uh things isn't hard reading. Oh but some Pretty crazy DI mix-ups there from Milo. He's got quite a stock on his hands, but here's the down throw from Nangs. He's picked right three times, and that down smash was going to do it. Oh! Nangs flubbing at the last hurdle. Just needed one of those aerials to connect after the, after the initial hit. And now starting to slip away from him. Just to wave that back F smash is going to do it for Milo. He thought to himself, I can take it here. I just do this, and there he get does it. Probably gonna ride out these same characters still. I'm going to battlefield. So Nang's playing Falcon now, my man. And he basically had the last set a couple times. Yeah, you know. And it happens. It okay. happens. Why is he playing Falcon? Why? Let's just go freaking Samus and win. <laughs> well, I think, I think surely it was just because they had some agreement. They had some agreement? Like, I don't know, probably just like, ah, uh, bored of this. <laughs> Let's do something else. Let's play these characters instead. Love that F till that's it. Yeah. Comes out the bad side B. Doesn't do much against like a properly um, or a side B to ledge, but sometimes Falco just does a panic, well, Falco and Fox just does a panic side B and you yeah. cash it out. Oh, careful, Milo. Uh oh, Ooh, okay. That's gonna be Nang stock. Oh, what a month. What was that? <laughs> Sometimes you I like going high there, actually. That was a really yeah. sick recovery. You have to go as high as you can against Falcon, because you can just reach. And I mean, <coughs> going going to ledge, if you get hit, you're in a terrible spot. Whereas if you get hit like when you're high and like sort of like yeah, in yeah. center, then it's... You can always come back. Yeah. Nang's looking for the reads. It's not... Milo's not giving them to him, though. Oh, big overshot now there. All the way into the corner. Great recovery to some edge cancels for the fans. Milo's got a bit of a stock on his hands now. How's he... Yeah, he's really definitely powered through that laser with the invisibility, yeah. but... Yeah. When the grab comes down. Damn, Milo's just starting to control this matchup a bit more now. Mm. It's still, he's at the point where, like, probably, what, one side B or stomp into a knee is going to kill. Or just the raw knee. Falcons love it. It's... Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, Falcon's Nang's slotted, wants, yeah. Nang's wants back air into knee more than anything in this world, this set. Okay, does he? I've, seen him, done, I've seen him try to go for, like, three or four times and he's missed it. Like, in varying degrees of success. Like, you might miss the actual back air itself, you might miss the follow-up afterwards, you might miss, you know, a lot of things. So. Hasn't worked out for him quite right. So far. Yeah. This is going to go to a game five, by the way. Yeah. I'm done. I've been thinking that for the past 30. I'm like, God damn. If you go, if you go Samus game five, it's just... Oh, what a crash cancel. Still maybe... Oh, yes. that's big though. Never mind. He's... Yes. Like... That's what I wanted. Yes. Down throw. Oh, big... This is a, almost a Black Shadow song. Oh, no. It's not... Oh, that's it. Not quite it. <laughs> quite not. Not quite it. Miley still has a relatively healthy stock here. He can't crouch cancel most things here, but still can make something happen. He's got the shine now. And Ruben didn't like Ruben got bad at zero and just didn't really do anything. Nah. Um, definitely a ton of either shield or He's just dude. flying Hail Mary with these aerials across the stage now. Yeah, it's he hasn't really found one yet. And really he just needs oh! No! What? That's it, alright. All right. What? That's that. All right. That's well, that. well, that's, that. that's we're GG. Up. That's GG. We're not. We're not talking about that anymore. We're not, that, this is some high quality. Drop the mic.